Welcome back to Three River Arms and Auto. Today, I was at Farm and Fleet and saw that they had plexiglass. So I decided to buy some and cut it down and see how much of this plexiglass it would take to stop bullets. So here I have 12 layers and it is two and a half inches thick. A good thing about using this to be a bulletproof window or see-through armor is how cheap and easy it is to get your hands on this stuff. Is this plexiglass a good way to make homemade see-through armor? Let's find out. So let's go through the calibers and see how many plates each caliber can go through. First up, we have 22 long rifle out of the Ruger SR-22. I bet this will stop in the first one. Let's see. The 22 made a small mark right here, barely even dented it, but you can see it made these cracks out in every direction. Let's step it up to a nine millimeter. Also, I forgot to mention that the reason that I have these all together and not spaced out is because that's how you'd make a bulletproof window. We got nine millimeter out of the Glock 19, but I have the fancy light and laser combination for extra tactical points. Let's see what it can do to the plate. <coughs> okay, it looks like we have bad news. Looks like the nine millimeter went straight through all 12 plates. Sent this plexiglass flying everywhere. Yeah, it went straight through all of them. So now we know that this is not a good option for making a bulletproof window. It is not bulletproof. But let's try stepping it up to a 45 ACP just for the heck of it. So as you can see by these results, here's the 22 result. And here's the nine millimeter that joe biden was actually correct the nine millimeter will actually blow out your lung as it blew out my bulletproof window so as you guys already saw the nine millimeter went through all 12 plates but the 45 acp is as much bigger and slower around than nine millimeter so maybe just maybe those plates will stop this 45 acp we're shooting it out of the ruger sr 1911 So guys, unfortunately, I only brought five rounds and I only got a uh, glancing blow, but let's check it out anyway. With the 45 ACP, I just skimmed the top, knocked this off, but other than that, I didn't get a good hit. So let's try the 45 Colt. Hey guys, this is Kyle from the future. After looking at that footage a few more times, I think I actually got a good hit with the 45 ACP and I think the glass actually stopped it but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments down below, what did you see? Do you agree with my new conclusion? So if nine millimeter went through, then 45 Colt should go through, right? I don't know, let's find out. We're shooting these 45 Colt copper jacketed out of my Henry 45 Colt lever action. Let's see what this can do against my bulletproof window. Yep, I think that went right through. Since I got the 45 Colt out and loaded up, let's take a few shots at it at my metal plate.
45 Colt made a mess of my bulletproof window. Let's see what it did. It is very hard to tell what happened, but I'm almost 100% positive that the bullet went straight through. I believe this is the wound cavity right here for the 45, and this is the wound cavity for the 9mm. I did, however, find a piece of two pieces of copper jacketing and a piece of lead. I believe this piece of lead is either to the 45 Colt or the 45 ACP, but I have no way of knowing for sure. I found this piece here that looks pretty cool. It looks to me like this is, might actually be part of the wound cavity of one of the pieces, one of the bullets. Either that or it just broke in a really cool way. So let's go over the things we learned today. First, this plexiglass alone is not good for making bulletproof plates, bulletproof windows. That's why you'll see actual bulletproof plates will have multiple different layers of different kinds of clear substances. And that is probably because this alone is good at breaking up the bullet. As you can see here, it completely broke up our 45 Colt bullet. But it's not good at actually stopping the bullet. So if it had a layer behind it to catch the, all these bullet fragments, then the, the glass would have worked. This did break into many pieces, and they are kind of sharp, but not nearly as sharp as actual glass would be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. These things really help me grow on YouTube. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Let's see how she does.